little bit review tonight. And these might look somewhat familiar to the channel. These are the blacksmiths from Red Wing. I have featured these before. On this occasion, these are three, three, four, fives. And most importantly, these are in the prairie leather. And that's something I've been wanting to try it for a long time. My previous pair, which I've moved on now with a nine or two nine five fives, which were in Spitfire leather. Spitfire leather was fantastic. Um, something which we don't see from Red Wing very often. It's a uh, waxed rough out, beautiful, beautiful leather. Um, but unfortunately, I didn't quite get the sizing right on my previous pair. So I went true to size on those. These, I've got it bang on from experience. I now know on the round toes from Red Wing, I need to go half size down. So these are the 3345s. I've gone half size down. They're in that prairie leather, really, really lovely boots. Um, you might also see some similarities between those or the blacksmiths and the Iron Rangers, which we featured on the channel before. Probably need to do a bit of review on these or a follow up review on these. Um, fantastic. Absolutely love the Iron Rangers. Um, much more comfortable than the simple uh, lug sole would suggest. Really, really nice patinering, very, very nicely. Uh, these are the eight triple ones in the amber harness, I think it is. Um, I've been running them a little dry, no conditioning, occasional brush, and I think they've been uh, patinering wonderfully. Lovely boot seize. And the similarities between the two are fundamentally that they're built on the same last. So these are both built on the number eight last. Uh, they describe that as a bump toe last, so you'll see on the toe there's a slight upturn. Um, just giving a little bit more room for your toes. Now, I must admit that on the Iron Rangers, I do rather like the additional detailing of the, the toe cap. Um, these are a much more plain and formal look. Uh, so, just on the toes, obviously very clean. Slightly more delicate, maybe, in profile. Maybe, side by side. Maybe it's just how I've broken those Iron Rangers in. Uh, but also, on the, uh, the rear here, very simple construction, traditional construction with a, a strap up the uh, the ankle there, a nice uh, heel cap internal to the boot, and a straight uh, top to the collar there. Whereas the Iron Rangers have a little bit more flourish, maybe a little bit more retro styling. So you've got that single piece external heel cap there, and that slight upturn. And sort of arcing to the uh, the collar but yeah very very similar boots exactly the same last hoping that they're going to fit or these blacksmiths are going to fit as well as my iron rangers um i think they are uh, just that size down is absolutely perfect so before we get into the star of the show which is leather we'll talk about that a little in a moment um just so you know pick these up from herring my go-to uh, boot suppliers as ever discount code below if you want to shop with them if you're in the UK or Europe. Uh, I think they do ship beyond that, but whether they can offer a good price on shipping, I don't know, but 10% off if you fancy it, link below. Um, but yeah, so these I've really picked up simply because of the leather. I've tried out the blacksmiths before, I've got the Iron Rangers. There's not a lot new to be learnt about this particular sort of boot pattern and last, but I haven't had this wonderful black prairie leather before. So. The black, black prairie leather is a fairly durable and flexible oil tan leather. Nothing too spectacular there. That's pretty much par for the course with Red Wing. But the real special point on it is that it's got this uh, brown base. I think some people refer to it as a tea core. Uh, so tea coloured brown uh, base. And then this really nice matte black finish over the top. And obviously what we all want, what a lot of us want, is to see patina and see your boots age beautifully over time. And with the black prairie leather, the way it's going to do that is it's going to slowly uh, allow the brown core to shine through. Scuffs and so forth will just add to the value of it. Um, so that is what I really love about boots, is seeing them sort of age and seeing the leather um, change over time that's why I tend to run my boots sort of a little bit dry because you know once you get the oil in it, it becomes that sort of single uh, homogeneous color 
Um, better for the leather, but for the look, I really like the sort of variations and patina. I'm really, really looking forward to giving these giving these a hard time, actually. Uh, the quicker I can get some scuffs on these uh, through just day-to-day -day wear, the, the happier I'll be, because you know it is uh, quite exciting to me to see that, that T-core, that brain core to come through. So that's really what these boots are about. And um, we'll find out over time, maybe in about six months' time, I can do a follow-up and we can see how that patina's developed. Uh, I might post some uh, photos to my Instagram in between, uh, but we'll probably do a follow-up review at about the six-month mark. So, as I say, half size down, absolutely right for me. Um, I think those look, these will look great with your typical uh, indigo uh, denim jeans, or indeed I've got some nice black ones, which I think will look quite nice. They're, they're fading nicely, so that sort of combination of patinas will, will certainly keep me happy. So, what we'll do is we'll get in and look at some of the details. Just coming in for some close-ups, starting from the bottom, you've got that Vibram Mini Lug sole. Actually really, really like these soles. Um, low profile, but they've got a nice amount of grip on them. Really, really hard wearing. Um, on my Iron Rangers here, I've put a good few miles on those. You can see it's starting to wear smooth in the middle there, but that's after probably a good year's worth of walking, um, largely on concrete. Um, a little bit of wear on the heel there as well um, but these have been really some of my preferred boots over the past year so I've put a good number of miles on those many many more to go lots of grip still available around the edge so the Vibram Mini Lug sole is incredibly hard wearing um, actually quite comfy as well uh, with a good pair of socks the combination of this uh, pretty hard sole the leather footbed and the cork footbed um, really doesn't make for, for fatiguing uh, walking, it's surprisingly good. Um, then you've got the, the leather welt at the top, obviously all red wings are re-soleable. And on these it's a three quarter or 270 uh, degree welt, so it just goes around the front portion of the boot, leaving the heel. And what that allows uh, the bootmaker to do it allows for a bit more of a low profile heel um, which I think to my eye makes it slightly smarter slightly more formal look um, certainly the combination of the, the plain toe and the uh, the heel here I think make these passable sort of semi-formal boots uh, but I think in historic usage the main point was to keep a low profile on the heel so it didn't catch on a ladder or anything else you were working with um, so it does come from a, a function side as well. Moving up to the top here, obviously you've got that black prairie leather. We'll have a little look inside in a minute, but you can start seeing the, the brown popping through. Obviously over time we'll get that patina building. You've got the Puritan triple stitch. Really like the, uh, the centre contrast white stitch and a double stitch on the heel likewise. Uh, on these we've got a internal uh, heel cap and a simple uh, stay running up the back there, straight collar, whereas we've got a little bit more flourish and so forth in the Iron Rangers, so an external heel cap and uh, that sort of slightly more detailing on the back stay there but again keeping it simple keeping it sort of fairly business-like on the blacksmiths um, then we've got the the aged sort of antiqued brass hardware quite nice hopefully that will polish up over time and three speed hooks at the top there always like speed hooks i think most people do helps with uh, lacing makes things really easy uh, can catch on your trouser legs, but minor issue really. Um, with these, I think sort of somewhat atypically uh, for Red Wing, we have a, a fabric, a waxed fabric lace. Uh, most often we see the, the synthetic Taslin uh, laces, which are really, really hard wearing. Uh, these aren't probably going to be as hard wearing. Uh, they start off quite stiff. A um, little bit short, 
there's not a lot to play with once you've uh, got these tightened up but they are really quite resilient from my um, past experience with blacksmiths and um, there's something about the uh, the wax and the the fabric um, which actually allow these to stay tightened up quite well I thought these would be undoing themselves in moments nice little uh, brass or metal finial on the end there but yeah the wax laces are actually pretty good actually I'm glad to have another pair of these um, because I did quite enjoy the variety of that um, just taking a quick look on the inside got one of the boots with the uh, laces out here you've obviously got the bellows tongue to keep some of the dirt and debris out of your out of your shoe out of your boot quite nice on the inside of the tongue we've obviously got the the size the model number and uh, the year and date of manufacture so it's 1222 so December 2022 um, so these are post COVID boots um, some people have commented on the uh, post pandemic quality issues I think Red Wing lost a lot of uh, skilled staff to retirement um, but no issues I see with these and um, not really a lot of experience with other boots I've had from them. On the inside here you can see the the brown core as well as anywhere. So that's what we're hoping to expose with wear, that lovely mid-brown colour. And then on the inside you can see the leather footbed and uh, little heel pad there. Well that pretty much brings us to the end of the review. As I said, it's all about the leather on these, um, more specifically about the patina. So this wonderful black prairie leather, I want to see how that uh, allows the brown core to shine through over time. So really, the main thing to do is get these on my feet and uh, get them some real world use. Uh, we'll do an update in about six months or so. Uh, hopefully there'll be some uh, scuffing and wear to show. Uh, might post some uh, update pictures on my Instagram in between if there's something interesting to show uh, please follow my Instagram it's linked below um, if you've had these or had the uh, the prairie leather from Red Wing before uh, do please share your thoughts below I'd be interesting to know or interested to know how it's worked out for you and of course um, please follow and subscribe to see how these develop over time if you haven't seen my channel before lots of boot reviews a bit of denim bit of everyday carry, that sort of stuff, please check it out. You might find that we share some other common interests. Uh, if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. And that's about it. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.